Here are two tips that are gonna help you unlock your voice and allow you to sing any song. Tip number one is to know your vocal range. This means you should know exactly what's the lowest and highest notes that you can sing comfortably. And trust me, the key word here really is comfortably. If at any point you feel discomfort in your voice or your voice cracks, that means you're either using improper technique or you're trying to sing outside of your range, which is not ideal. But don't worry, there's a very simple simple way to figure out your vocal range, so just grab whatever your instrument of choice is. For me, it's going to be the acoustic guitar. And then you want to find middle C, which is this note. C. Then we're going to go down note by note until you feel like your voice is about to crack. So let's try it. C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B. So just write down whatever that lowest note was for you and keep in mind if your voice cracked that means you went down too far so just bring it up by at least one note. Next we're going to do the opposite. This time we're gonna go up in pitch from middle C. So let's try it. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. But let me stop right here because I can already tell that some people moved from their chest voice to their falsetto. And yes, technically you can go much higher using falsetto, but for this exercise, you really need to know the highest note in your range using your chest voice and then write down the falsetto separately. Congratulations, now you know your vocal range, but why is this so important? Well, now you know your own vocal limitations and most importantly, where your voice sounds its best. And this is gonna play a major role in into our next tip. So tip number two is learn how to transpose music. This just means changing the key of any song to best fit your voice. Every single song ever written has its highest and lowest note and you just want to make sure that those two are within your vocal range. And just because a song was recorded in its original key, it does not mean that you need to sing it in its original key. In fact, a lot of recording artists when playing live actually bring down the key of their songs because they have a two hour set in a very exhausting tour. So if they do it, give yourself some grace and do the same. Something else I want you to pay attention to is whether the artist is hitting the highest notes with their chest voice or falsetto, and you want to be able to match that with your own voice. So for this next example, I'm going to be singing the song Someone Like You by Adele, which is in the key of A major, and it goes something like this. I've heard that you Settled down that you found a girl and you're married now. So far, it sounds pretty good on my voice. I can hit the notes with ease. However, when this song gets to the chorus section, Adele really belts those high A notes, which were right on top of my vocal range. So I have two choices. I can either be belting the notes, which is gonna be hard to do, or I'm gonna have to use falsetto. So let's hear how that sounds. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. So technically, yes, I am hitting those notes, but as you can tell, they don't sound very powerful. They definitely don't sound anything like Adele. And the reason for that is that she's belting those notes with her chest voice and I'm trying to do falsetto, so it doesn't really match. So what can I do? Well, I'm actually gonna bring down the key of this song to the key of G major and let's hear how that sounds. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. 
So just by bringing the key of the song down, it now sounds much better for my voice. I'm able to hit those really high G notes constantly with much more power and without straining my voice. The opposite may also happen. So let's say you're a high tenor or maybe you're a female and you sing in a much higher register, but then you try to cover a song that's sang by somebody with a really low, deep voice. Chances are you will struggle with those low notes and so you would just bring up the key of the song. For this next example, I'm going to be using a very classic song by Elvis Presley, which goes something like this. Wise man sing. To me, that was just way too low, so I'm going to bring the key up and let's try it again. Falling in love with you. And real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But wait, what if you don't know how to change the key of a song? If you're a guitar player like me, then you can use an accessory known as a capo, which you can clip to the neck of the guitar, and this is gonna let you play the same chords and change the key for you. Another option would be to detune your instrument. So on a typical guitar, it's standard E tuning, which you can bring down to either E flat tuning or even D tuning. But my favorite method is just to go on Google, type the name of the song you want to sing, followed by the word chords, and then some of those websites will allow you to click and change the key of the song, and then you will change all of the chords to match the new key that you selected. Congratulations, now you know how to sing any song, and if you also want to learn my top five tips when it comes to recording vocals in the studio, then make sure to click on this video.